The idea originated with our Head of Communications, Rose Palmer, who came up with an idea about how we could help schools help children talk about mental health. And we're very aware, and schools are very aware, this is a growing area of, of concern. Particularly in the primary sector, I think uh, there is not um, enough opportunity say, for children really to start thinking about not just physical but also mental health. Worryingly, many of our children who enter reception are uh, hailing from families where there is mental health issues. Um, so as a community, this is very prevalent. We need to address it and take away some of the stigma. Even though they know they can trust the teachers and the adults within school, they find it hard to share the anxieties and the worries they have. What we're hoping is to help teachers have a conversation with their class and children to have a conversation with each other about how to talk about difficult things. Young people have told us what they find most appealing is video and we'd also done an earlier project with uh, the group that did this work uh, on a study for depression in adolescents where we'd done animation that people had really liked. We're a diverse group of artists and researchers who've come together to work collaboratively with groups to sort of explore difficult, perhaps sensitive subjects in a creative and innovative way. We designed two-day workshops for each school for groups of about 24 11-year-olds. And we designed the workshops to both generate ideas to let the children explore the issues and also to generate the audio and the visual for the film as well. So it's a kind of two-pronged approach. Tom Mellor, who's our workshop facilitator, develops a wonderfully strong relationship with the children. He's got a lot of techniques in terms of bringing them together and having fun. The children have a lot of fun in these workshops, and that's absolutely crucial too. Any other adult coming into the classroom as well gives them a chance to act differently. It's nice for them to see that they're sort of stepping up and being a little more confident. Plus we've been moving between the hall and the classroom so it's broken the day up nicely. To them they're not sat doing their work at a table like they might normally be doing so it's more all hands on. Lizzie Hobbs, who's our animator, has a very strong artistic vision of what the final film is going to be. Oh, wow, he actually looks like he's jumping, doesn't he? Because we're already there for two days, the children don't know us, we don't know the young people's individual stories. We often use character creation, so we created a character called Jay. This film is all about Jay and us. We're her friends. We're all 10 or 11 years old. And Jay old. begins to represent the views of the group, and that means young people can kind of think about these things from a safe distance, and they don't have to talk about themselves if they don't want to. My favourite part of it and that I'll remember is doing the spinny things and the <laughs> flip book that we just made. My favourite part when we were making pictures out of fingerprints. I've learned who I can trust and who I can tell and not to keep my emotions inside if I'm feeling something I should mm. tell people. It's been interesting, a couple of the children who are the more quiet children normally, they've been the ones with their hands up the most, and the, the ones who are normally the most articulate ones have actually been the quieter ones for a change. We've, we've seen over the two days how much fun they've had, uh, but I think there's been also been opportunities for them to really kind of get a sense of themselves, express themselves in a way that's, that's different to perhaps how they do, um, again, in our structured lessons. Already we've had children today come and talk to me and say, can I just sit and talk to you? Um, and like one boy was upset. Somebody had said something. It's small, but it was obviously bothering him, so he came and spoke to me. At the end of the two two-day workshops, we end up with masses of material in all sorts of novel formats, from drawings to thumbprints to sound effects. And the next challenge, of course, is to distill that into a five-minute short animation which fulfills the project brief. So Lizzie's job is to be true to the voices of the children. And actually the, the film itself isn't telling you the whole story. What the film is doing is going to be triggering wider discussions. To get this five minute animation, we worked with the Creative Research Collective, but also we had people who put in for ethics, who are doing the evaluation of the materials that we're developing. We've also worked with 
common room who have particular expertise of working with uh, children with disabilities or experiencing mental health issues. What we really want to do is get schools and children talking about mental health, having the conversation. So the animation is, is sort of the, the springboard for that, but then we have a range of resources to support teachers in the classroom delivering and, and having those conversations. We spent quite a bit of time thinking about how we could break this definition of mental health down for young people. So the way that we settled on to, to do this was to talk in terms of small feelings and big feelings. Small feelings being those feelings that we all have every day, they come and go, they're always changing. And then there are big feelings which are feelings that stay around for a long time and become overwhelming and can stop us from doing what we want to do in our lives. We're going to have um, a teacher toolkit which will consist of an assembly plan, lesson plans and then cross-curricular activities so that we can be having these conversations in all areas of the curriculum. Hi, I'm Jack. I don't go to school with Jay but I go to swimming. I feel incredibly excited. I think the mix of the children's drawings and their actual voices and the language that they themselves use feel very real and I think will really help children think about these issues. Thank you.